Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> Depending on what part of the world you're watching. Even good evening. <laughs> so, 6.45 over here. And... I just basically wanted some company, so I figured, hey, why not? Let's reach out around the world. So basically today is kind of a nice special day because today we're going to have an all beef roast, which I'm going to clean very well. I'll show you guys what I do. And then, um, you know, obviously we're going to put garlic in there. We're going to sear it first so that it can lock in the flavors of the delicious beef. So that's what we're going to do first. Okay? So in the meantime that we're doing that, um, we're going to, first of all, Mr. Mike, how you doing? Good morning, Mr. Mike. So we're going to put the roast. We're making a beef roast today, Mr. Mike. Amen. We're going to do a beef roast today, Mr. Mike. So, um, hold on one second. I don't know if this is even going to be... This might be a little too large, is it? Yeah, that's way too large. Well, I thought I got one that would... Let's see. Check it out. Yeah, we should be. Yeah, we're going to be fine. It'll be fine. So let's going to get this roast. We're going to wash it out real quick, and then we're going to get this going because I'm going to make the roast in the crock pot. Mr. Mike, I'm going to sear it first. Sear the roast, but I want to get this baby going because we're going to have a nice roast, Mr. Mike. And I'm going to call later on my, my son, Daniel. So we can have some roast with Daniel. All right, Mr. Mike, I'm going to put you right there. I'm going to show you guys how I clean a roast. Because, let's see what we did with the calendar here. We'll use this to wash it up. What I like to do is like that, and then hold on. This is my orange water, so I should wash my hands. Pieces of orange, and I make a water out of it, and I wash my hands. Let me see, I need to get some. Vinegar. Vinegar. Mm -hmm. And baking soda. How I wash it, Mr. Mike. See, 
my water is orange, but it cuts through all the grease and everything, Mr. Mike. All the grease. Mm hmm Now what we're going to do is we're going to get this seasoning for the meat, for the beef. a little dry rub so that we can put into the meat but we got to do that first and then we're gonna I'll show you what to do this is a beef bouillon from Colombia you know it's beef so I wanted to have like lots of nice flavor Especially, you know, just through and through, you know. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Good morning. I already took a shower. I gotta do my hair later on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are beef bouillons, Mr. Mike. You want to get that pretty crust, you know what I mean? And that I learned from my son Daniel, Mr. Mike, okay? <laughs> yep, I learned it from my boy. Mike, you can smell that black pepper, man. It smells lovely. You just want to do that to just, you know, mix it up nice. You know? So then, I'm going to throw this away. Now, I'm going to show you what to do con la carne. With the meat. You got to dry it up first before anything. You got to dry it up real well. Let me get some paper towels. Or... Cuz in that way, you know, you want everything to stick nice, right, yo? For that crust.
Make sure no paper sticks on the meat. All right. That wouldn't be nice. All right, now we're going to get into the good stuff. We did that. I want to have it to have flavors you know what I mean so you're gonna be able to stick a clove some cloves of garlic in there with some seasoning you know what I mean try to go all the way down just to kind of get that season I don't mind the fat <laughs> people like the fat so bad for you so is TV <laughs> Pick your poison, man. Pick your poison. <laughs> so, yeah, Mr. Mike, and anyone else who's watching, this is a really good way to inject some really good flavor. And I just kind of like to make it large enough to where I can get my finger in there, yo. You know what I mean? Get it in the center, you know? I mean... You don't go all the way down, obviously. You just go far enough that you can get the seasoning in to the meat to where it's going to carry in the flavor. You know what I mean. I know you guys know what I mean. Yes, I do. Yeah, I like the, the fat. I like everything to have flavor, you know. So, I'm sorry. If you do carve the other side, it's alright. It's not going to hurt anything. I'm just... It's like... Que salga harto sabor que tenga la carne. Bueno, ahora sí, let's do what we're going to do with the garlic. Because the garlic is the beauty. The beauty, the beauty. I think any plate that, that, you know, everything has to have a nice touch of garlic. You know what I mean? So. Let's do it. Let's do the garlic. So, you know, basically this is what you do. You stick it in. Throw it in there. Okay. Push it in deep. And see when we sear it we're gonna have all that flavor right up in there and in the inside you understand what I mean it's already seared inside that's why I say you want to make those holes large enough so that you can um, put the seasoning in okay what you want to do that way the seasoning can sink on in you understand what I'm talking about yes baby I love garlic I mean garlic mm, 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 mm. not only is it good but it's healthy for us it's healthy for us you know what I mean so yeah then you just turn it around. You know what I mean? But this is really, really, really important step to getting that nice flavor. Injectamos sabor así, ve? Abrimos huecos, injectamos ahí sabor con ajo. Y ahorita le echamos el dry rub, que son los ingredientes que son secos. Y después tenemos que encender el, encender el sartén. 
So we're going to definitely have buen sabor. Buen sabor. When you have a baby bird, you feed it like this, you know. That's what you do. You just feed it like it's a baby bird. Okay. What do you all think about that, huh? Doesn't she look beauty? Beauty, beauty, beauty. Doesn't she just look beautiful? Okay. What I like to do is I do like to put some olive oil on before I put the seasonings on because I want everything to um, stick, you know what I mean? So, that's, and then I'm just going to dunk it in the seasonings. Basically, you want to que se pegue todo los buenos condimentos. You know what I mean? Well, negra
Smelling beautiful. Beautiful. Crock pot, baby. Mama, don't play. Mommy, dog, don't play. No, no, no. Now we're going to add a few potatoes. I've already washed it. These are organic potatoes. And, you know, this is going to be a really nice meal. It takes a long time, but who's in a rush? Nobody. No rush. And then, of course, you have to add some carrots, which I'm going to peel up real fast. carrots up real quick and then we'll wash them. Okay. Oops. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> that was not intentional. Oops. I meant to do this. Here, you guys can see better, huh? How's that? Is that better? Mm -hmm.
That's it. We got the flavor sealed in. We're going to put the veggies in. To later they, they are not that long but the most important part definitely the potatoes are super super so what I do is I try to put the potatoes on the bottom because I want all of those potatoes to have that delicious flavor of the beef and then I know you guys are like what but everybody does they're different onion on top yep I put my onion on the top why because I want the onion flavor to fall all over my beef that's why. So when you put the onion on the top, then all that flavor has to drip down to the beef. You know what I mean? So it drips down to the bottom of the potatoes. It drips on, you know, like to the beef and everything. So it's just what I like to do. So if you guys want to try it that way and just let it just, you know, sweat all over. <laughs> Make everything good. Yeah, that's it, yo. It's very simple. And it looks quite tasty, I'll tell you. And it smells, you guys, like a steakhouse, kind of. Like, wow. Hmm. What did I do with my knife? Here it is. So, yeah, try that. Put the flavors on the top, too. Not just the bottom. And that way, when you get down to the bottom, oof. Oof, the gravy and the potatoes and, you know. And I even like the flavor of the carrots. Well, I guess we could put the carrots in. Too. Oh, carrots are so good. Love them. I want to put more than two carrots. That's not enough carrots, but... Let me get some water. I am parched, 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 parched. Let me show you how pretty it's looking, though. I'm going to show you guys. Check this out. Can y'all see? Look. The lid's going to go on that baby. And hmm, the smell is already like manifesting. And it is beautiful. Hold on one second, darling. smoky as fuck, Mr. Mike, and I haven't even hit the bong yet. Well, I have, but just, you know. But anyway, shall we have some water, darlings? Absolutely. Let's have some water. And then... For now, I'm just going to let it go like that, yo. Put the lid on it, and we're going to call it a day. You know, let her do her cooking. I'll clean up. Uh, yeah, Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike's like, well, that's my grandmother. <laughs> You guys are probably saying, are you going to add any water in there? I don't because I figure all of the moisture from the meat and everything, it makes its own gravy. So it's in the crock pot. So I want all the grease, all the drippings, all the flavor to mesh into the potatoes and all that kind of stuff. You see, so that's it, babies. We have a pot roast a going. Okay, so Mr. Mike, blessings to you. We love you. You're our dear, dear, dear brother. And, uh, you know, we like coming by and just saying hello to you. We just love to stop by your shop, say, hey, what's up? So, um, 
That's it. Of course, the house will be smelling better and better and better. So I'll talk to you guys later, okay?